Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Place. Welcome back to Shen's Mexican area here in Tac Team Portugal. Say hi, Arumba. Shen's Mexican area. I like the way that sounds. How's things going? Ah, that's what she said. How's things going in Florida? It's fine. Yeah? Anything change? You got any, like, freak, I don't know, hurricanes coming in? No. no have, actually, have, you've been there, what, a year now? Two. Two actually, years. Uh, yeah, two. And you've been through hurricane season. How was that? There's nothing. We haven't really? anything. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so Poetin so, just finished. That means we're only losing 100 ducats a month now. Nice. Very nice. You're going to send that to somewhere else that's almost done, right? Yeah, it was a 500. One of the 500 ones. 30, 33 day siege of Mexico. I love that. Mm hmm. Now, you notice that I uh, brought another 20 stack over here for you. Do we need what do you it? Think about, what do you think about attacking British Mexico? Mm, can we actually take on Britain? I mean, I assume we could. We'd end up at war with Scandinavia, though. We need to draw Scandinavia into some bullshit war so that he won't fight against us. I kind of want to so, keep Scandinavia on our side. Because he's huge, and he could probably help against France. Oh, Mazovia's dying. No, Mazovia. Wait. Who the heck? What? The Hungary is beating up the Ottomans? What? No. That can't happen. He is. He's at plus 30. Wait, who's in that war? Oh, it's Hungary, Austria, and Russia. That's why. I'm like, Hungary? Rebels in Zazu. Whatever. Yeah, it's kind of silly for the AI. That's a gold mine. He has a gold mine in Mexico City with a fort, and he doesn't turn on the fort on a gold mine. Are you kidding me? Maybe it's just not... Maybe he just doesn't value precious metals like these weird foreigners do. Hmm. Hey, we had some precious metals today in Factorio. That was actually pretty nice to look at. It's got six different colors coming out of it. One of them looks like a pork chop. It's great. I agree. I really enjoy playing Bob's Mods. Mm-hmm. Especially with a group of people because it, it's it's a little bit much for one person if you've not done it before. And It is. Even though I've done it before, it, I still don't always know what the hell is going on. It's really complex. I like I like the level of complexity it adds, even, even if it's very difficult to play. Yep. Yeah. So apparently our uh, conquistador got moved and we got black flagged in the Inca. Is that what's happening here? Uh, conquistador was helping with a siege. He's got two siege pips. So he was helping take down a fort. Uh, Can't that pass is that really up. useful. He's going to take down another fort, which has very small garrison. I had to ask for military access from Kalima so we can get started on the next siege. Okay, um, hmm, Cherokee, Great Britain, Hockey Land, Great Britain, Huron. Still no claims from Hockey Land. What if we get a border with uh, Huron for Blackjack and Hookers and see if they'll they'll fabricate the claim? Oh, are Maybe. you ready for Admin Tech 17? Yes, definitely, because that will give us more colonization speed, remember? Oh, yeah. We were just talking about that. Oh, yeah. Sunday Thank schools. And Why it gives not? more efficiency, which means we can take more land, cheaper corn costs, blah, blah, blah. It's all good. We are down to a thousand ducats, by the way. We got to yeah, finish these damn colonies. We're only losing a hundred now. So we've got another 12 months of income and we've got a colony at 950. Mm -hmm. As soon as this next colony finishes, we're actually pretty much going to be breaking even. Do you think we're going to be able to take all this land in this war? Like everything? Yeah. Why wouldn't we? Just curious. You don't think Shen's Mexican area is going to be able to take all that into itself? Going to have a lot of rebels. As long as we keep not... some armies here, we'll be fine. Shen, why can't your Mexican area handle all that stuff? Well, my Mexican area is delicate. And this this just might be too much. We'll see. I think we just take all of it, and then we just leave at least one of these 20 stacks down here to help out. Yeah. Or maybe we... Yeah, I mean, because whatever. Just force him to colonize. Force him. If he's not going to grow... We'll make him. Force him to grow. Well, there you go. Your war is at 100%. Go for that. Finish him up. Peace out. Peace out. Take all the things. Why aren't you peacing out? I am. There you go. Oh, you peace out separately. Why? There's no reason not to. Take well, all our money. Don't you take uh, less... Is it less aggressive expansion if you do it all in one piece deal? I co belligerented them. Oh, then it doesn't matter. And even if you didn't co belligerent them, it doesn't affect 
Like, the aggressive expansion is based on co-belligerent, not whether or not you separate piece them. Oh, okay. Besides, if we didn't do it that way, we couldn't take their money. And in this case, the CB allowed us to take the land for zero dip. If it was one of those stupid wars where you have to piece out with the primary, like the war leader to get zero dip, I would have done it that way. Okay, Mexican area, have fun with that. <laughs> By the way, there's this guy right here. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. It's a panic. What the hell's up with that? I know, he's got no allies, though. He's dead. Okay, just so you know, uh, Shen's Mexican area has 4.75 revolt risk from overextension, so they're actually not above 100%. Wow. But if you okay. give them this last province, they will gain 7 development, which is going to be 7% overextension. Oh, Rio de la Prata. All right, what are we going to call this place? Uh, let's see. Let's pause for a second. I'm just going to say okay, and you can choose the name, but let's see. What would be a good name, Shen? I don't know. The Tip? The Tip. I like it's, it. It's the Tip of South America. Give them a little bit of the Tip. Mm, just the Tip. Hmm. Did you name it? I did not. Why not? Hmm. Are you going to name it something else? No, I'm not going to change it. It still shows as Rio de Prata to me. Yeah, I didn't change it. Really? Okay. It'll probably show different if you go through our subjects tab. What did you call it? Rio de Prata. Well, then it shows... I was serious. I said I wasn't going to change the name. It shows Rio de Prata. Yeah, it's fine. You want to call it Rio de Prata? Really? I don't care. Okay, fine. By the way, we've got a lot more ships so done. Are these so trade ships? Vanilla. Yeah, trade ships. Trade so, ships. It's too vanilla for me. Too vanilla for me? Three vanilla, five me? Keep fabricating on Mr. Francy Pants. Get some of those. God, we lost all of our claims. Arr. I like how we complain and complain about not having the ability to declare war. But then we base... I mean, I feel like we're at peace right now, don't you? But the, the nice thing is <laughs> we, we're getting a whole bunch of colonizing done. And we're getting our manpower back. We're still at half manpower, you know? Yeah, we're, we're, we're constantly at war, but we're basically at peace right now. That's what's funny about it. Yeah, pretty much. Are you ready to beat up the Inca? Yeah, I mean, can cocaine and caffeine take... Yeah, they can take some land. Maybe take half of the Inca? You know, since they're not going to be overextended. Hold on, let's do the math on that. Um, so they don't have the tech that gives them the reduction just yet. They have 4.75 overextension. 4.75 out of 5 is 95. If you if you take that province, you're going to put them at over 100%. Done. Great. Good job. Now we get massive unrest and random events for no reason at all. Yeah. Where's the rest of that army? Wasn't it a 21 stack? Why is there only 18 dudes in Kuitso? We stole a couple when we were attacking in North America for colony mm. maintenance and stuff. Oh, I see. I see. But we can't make any more because it's all colonies. Yeah. A little silly. Right. All right. So this one will patrol around for a little bit just to help out your area. My area. My Mexican area. we got a lot of colonizing to do in the Mexican region if we want to actually connect up those lands. Well, while he's, uh, you know, patrolling this area, he's going to patrol his way into the capital of this country. Sounds good. They don't have any cores, so Mexican area can continue coring. Good. Are we still losing money? We're still losing 19 ducats a month. Oh, God. The horror. But we're almost it's done not, with Chesapeake. We're good. Yeah, it's not bad. Actually, Roanoke is going to finish next month. Roanoke. Nice. 69% settler chance. Ain't you ever been to Roanoke? Can you imagine? How Can you get it any higher than that? Like 100% settler chance? That'd be nuts. I don't know. I like 69% chance, so that's pretty damn good. Native aggressiveness is only lowering it by one. So you're thinking we can get to Tuscarora and Yadkin and Catawba before Britain does? Or should we or should we focus on going to war with Cherokee again soon and then just claiming out or colonizing out to Cherokee? I mean at this point our colony is going to be way stronger than whatever Great Britain puts together. That's true. So and we go to war take with, this. when we go to war with him he's going to take all of his colonial lands, right? Mhm. Mm there you go. Hungary has defeated Crimea. Look at that. Poor Crimea. And Polotsk. I mean, not Polotsk. Mazovia. Mazovia is a one-province minor. I remember. No. 
Oh, the horror. Oh, there goes Roanoke. Bye, Roanoke. Okay, we're still going to stay short, stay low on colonists, colonies for the, just the moment. Okay. I think if we're going to do that again, let's wait till we have like, you know, five, six thousand ducats. Okay. Before we go crazy. Crazy. You crazy, I say. Catch you. All right, so we got 21,000 troops on the way down. Inca probably has like 30 guys. Let me check. I N C A. He has, yeah, 33,000 figures. He has a lot of money, and his tech is only four techs behind us. Wow. He's keeping up with the Joneses. Do you want to wait for tech 16 before we declare? Nah. On which one? Inca? On the Inca. He's got 33,000 troops. Tech 11 versus 16. Oh, there's so your first tactics. There's your first rebellion in Shen's Mexican area. I'll have to take care of that. We have two tactics advantages over him right now. Okay. It's still pretty good. Here, let's at least let's just finish this siege real quick. Or, um, what? Yeah, finish the siege of Kalima, and then we'll go deal with the two rebellions because they can use the cannons. Hmm. Good idea. Forty-nine percent chance. How much you want to bet it doesn't work? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's only a coin flip. Look at all these little clones, all these little men coring. There's so many little men standing in the provinces of Mexico. Yeah, they're doing a good job, aren't they? He is yeah, coring I'm, as I'm, fast as possible. You know, Shen's Mexican area is really impressive compared to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're to please colonize. Oh colonize. goodness! All right, yeah, so we have, we're on we the Inca many, border. Yeah, we have too many tactics advantages. Just attack them. 0.5 is, is huge. It doesn't matter how many troops he has, he's dead. And did you calculate how much land we can take? Like how much base tax we should take? Base tax mm -hmm. for cocaine and caffeine? Mm -hmm. Well, he has admin tech 16, which means he does not have any administrative efficiency. Each one development is 1% over extension, so you could take 100 development. Okay. We will do that then. And he doesn't actually have, like, any current coring issues, so he can take a full 100%. Oh, here comes cocaine and caffeine to help us fight. Sweet. Ah, there goes Kalima. All right, you handle the rebels. Have fun. Okay. Okay. I'm so glad that coring progress doesn't stop. Yeah, or... and, and conversion progress. It's so nice. I like that. You mean when the rebels siege it down. Yeah, although I don't see the little man. I wonder if he actually stopped it because he thinks that it does. Oh, you think he stopped the core? Yeah, the AI might be too dumb. You're right. It's possible. Oh, well, he's a champ. He'll, he'll handle it. All right, so you're saying our tactics... Yeah, we have half tactics better than him. We have almost double his morale. Yeah, he's screwed. That might even be a squish. No. Yeah, oh my god, that was a squish. Wow. I will take the squish. Cool. Can I steal the explorer? Explorer, I need him for just right. one more fight. Unless you want to trade me trade me generals. I would love to trade you generals. Okay, do it. Uh, right. I'm going to free him up right now. Thank you. Because I, I need him for a siege. And I need him for a combat. Perfect. This is working out pretty well, this whole attack team. Ding, 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 nah. <laughs> well, I think that's one of the main problems I have with EU4 is when you get super huge, uh, you, there comes a point where in big, battle, when big wars will have... So many things to focus on across the entire globe that you can't keep track of, like all of your navies and all of your armies and everything that's happening all at once. Like if you unpause to watch a battle and you're really worried about how the battle is going to turn out, then you might be losing a navy somewhere half across the world. It's like, well, crap. You know, I can't can't pay attention to both. Yeah, but with two people, we can do it. Yep. Or at least we can try to do it. Diplotech. Oh yeah, definitely. All of these. Wars we're declaring don't use any Diplo points, so why not? The only one that would use Diplo points is the Huron, because they've westernized. We've discovered the Great Barrier Reef. Sweet! That's up off Townsville, isn't it? I wish we had better generals, though. Our generals are really, really Ooh. quite bad. More mercantilism, my goodness. We just got 2.5 more mercantilism. Very good. I'm not complaining. We're up to 
45 mercantilism. Holy crap. You know, there's a, an achievement to get 100%. And I'm, I've wondered before, like, I think it's just Genoa, maybe. Genoa gets all the special benefits, yeah. Special bonuses. That, that can actually, like, do that achievement run. So Shen's I, Mexican area is a champ, but at the same time, they're kind of idiots. They're just sitting there with their eight stack, not even trying to take back occupied territory. I thought you were helping them. I am, but... But... You, someone, put them over 100%, and so... Ah, they'll be fine. There's a lot of rebellion. Why isn't he doing anything? He's just sitting there. That's what I just said. Yeah, but the question is why? Do you have an idea? Oh, but now he's, he's moving. moving. Yeah, it's really weird that he wasn't moving. Oh, recent uprising has just ended. Okay. So we could potentially get some more rebels here. Where is this? Aragon or Munster? Yeah, we have, right. have 60,000 troops back in Spain. We're fine. Okay. I'll take your word for it. That means I can fabricate on France some more. Cool. Yeah, we've got three stacks out there that are meaty, beefy, lots of cannons. Mmm, beefy. Beefy sounds good. I agree. Are you still using your siege general? Uh, yes. He's my exploring and CG general. He's good at both. All right. Seems fine. A lot of fog of war down here. So I'm actually going to have to count out all the developments on the lands before I peace out. Interesting. It would be amazing if it could just sum up. Well, actually, no. When you're doing the peace deal, can't you see the overextension? Just go by that. 3.3 over extension. 5.1. 6.7. 8 8.3? I mean, is that the exact number of... No way. Well, the issue for us is that we have enough admin tech that we have administrative efficiency. Right, and they don't. So just add up, get all the numbers, and then whatever the number is, like right, right now I've got 20.8. So take 20.8 divided by 0.8 equals 26. Because we have a 20% reduction to the overextension. Gotcha. So in your case, you could take up to, uh, well, at most, 100 divided by 0.8. You could do 125. Get up to 100. When it says 125, that's 100 for them. Wait, okay, 125. No, no, no. That's backwards. If we do 125 for us, then that'd be way more for them. We need to do um, 80. Get it up to where it says 80. Shen's Mexican area. Fun. Yeah, he's actually helping now. He's sieging something now. Hmm. And that'll be 100% siege when you guys are done. Sweet. And are any of his cores done yet, does it look? Nope. Okay. He's still at 5.10 overextension. And unlike you, I'm not going to force him. <laughs> Take everything. I'm not going to force my Take Mexican everything. area. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with my Mexican area. Don't give me that. Your Mexican area needs to break every now and then, Shen. You got to stop abusing it so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that was that was pretty filthy, Arumba. That was pretty filthy. What my was? goodness, why are you talking about my Mexican area like that? You know, so, a man's got to have some privacy. I don't understand why you, you think that that's filthy. Mm -hmm. I thought we were just talking about a colonial nation in mm -hmm. the game of Europe Universalis 4. We are indeed. Are All the these, colonies these, about to finish? These poor Incans, they ain't got a chance. Every battle is just a joke. Wow, two colonies. I like. Britain has declared war on the Inca. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you didn't. What if I take the entire coastline in the peace deal if Britain will just peace out? Now nah, he'll probably send troops through through uh Okay. Uh Brazil. we have one colonist coming up in just a moment, and we need to do that thing where we colonize way the hell out in the middle of nowhere. Which one did you want to do? In the middle of nowhere? What do you Why mean? Why don't we colonize like Banca? It's five hundred natives. We don't want to have to send a navy do out. Do you there. mean in the Malacca node? Yes. Yes, by all means. Banca's great. Okay, I need a colonist, though. Steal one. I don't know where they are. That's what she said. Find them! Don't you have the colonists on your outliner? Surely you do. Uh, no, I turned... Um, I, I keep the colonies on. I don't keep the colonists on. Ah, I keep both. 
There's too much stuff on there. Ooh, 244. It's quite a bit. That's not really hurting our inflation uh -oh. either. There's a rebellion up there. Crap. Mm, take care of it. The nice thing is they've actually moved out of our lands and Britain can't get there to kill them. So they might actually, they might actually succeed because Britain can't get over there. That's hilarious. You're at 100%, so you're going to wait for a little while, I assume? Yeah. All right, well, you brought us in, so bring us out. I don't know about that, Shen. I'm pretty sure you did. All right, thanks for watching. I've been Shen. He's been not Shen. We'll see you next time. Should be the same TAC time, same TAC channel. Have a good day. See you soon.